Hello, my name's Hand Hughes and I invented Huddersfield. Today on Board Deck and Dice we are looking at a Kickstarter preview for a game called Ox. But before I tell you about that, I just want to point out a podcast that I've enjoyed and has just debuted recently called This Game is Broken. Not this game, that's the name of the podcast. Oh, <laughs> silly. Um, it's basically a quiz uh, podcast, kind of loosely, never mind the Buzzcock style, but for board games. And I highly recommend you check it out. It's run... Uh, very well and has some names that you might recognize if you watch the dice tower so check that out now let's look at the game ox which most certainly is not broken ox is an abstract game it comes in this nice little pouch but that might change by the kickstarter um, each player it's a two-player game has eight uh, little pieces of their color and act nicely these slip back into the board afterwards for storage and travel purposes you also have two dice. Each player starts at one end with no pieces on the board and you will roll two dice. Then you will either move one of your pieces the whole distance, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or two pieces, one of the dice, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Now, why might you do that? Because if someone lands on you when you are isolated, they send you back to the start. However, if you are in a column or row of multiple pieces, then you are protected from being captured. The object is to get all your pieces off the other end. If you roll a double, like so, you can uh, have another go. And also, when you are moving, you can stack up to two on the same space. However, this does ruin your protection. So if I'd done that, I have three protected here, and then this one comes along and goes on top, then that is now, none of those are now protected until they are all equal. So they are either all stacks, or I move this one off the edge to here. So this means that often what you get is little clumps moving together until someone breaks formation. The game goes on until one player gets all their pieces to the other side. Then you will tee up and go again. Or if your train has just arrived in its destination, slip the pieces back in their holding place, roll it up, and be on to your next appointment. That is a very quick look at the game Ox. So, what are my thoughts on Ox? Ox is a very very nice package. The portability, the way the board doubles up as a carrying case is really nice. You can, when you've rolled it up, put the dice in the middle and wrap an elastic band around it and then just carry it like that. Or use the provided bag, which may change for the Kickstarter. What about gameplay? When I read the rules, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too luck heavy, depending on the dice. But the choice that you have to move one or two pieces is quite interesting. And as I said in the review, you get this kind of, what you're trying to do is get a big, big enough train that you can to move slowly towards the opponent and capturing them as they go. But what you find is at some point you're going to roll a dice roll that you have to use and doing so will ruin that big train. So then is it better to use little trains? Is it better to try and spread them out and accept that you're going to be captured sometimes and try and land... Uh, you know, try and hopscotch and land in between pieces. It's a clever little game. Now, as with any dice game, there is always the chance that you are going to be hosed by luck. And what makes that worse in this game is you can have the luck of rolling a lucky number to land in between, but the rule where you can uh, roll again if you roll doubles. Now, this has only happened once, but the last time I played, I must have rolled at least... 10 doubles over the course of the game uh, compared to my opponent's two. Now that means I'm having 10 extra goes and unsurprisingly I won. So that is the only rule that I'm not quite sure on but it's easy enough to ignore. So you could ignore that, that, that uh, take another go if you roll a double. Um, and I think think well it will certainly be it will certainly mitigate the luck if you don't mind that that kind of luck if you think it's quite funny 
I obviously felt it was funny last night, but my opponent didn't, then um, you can leave it in. Like I say, nice package, um, portable, quick little abstract game. People say it uh, reminds them of uh, Backgammon, but I've never played that, so I wouldn't have a clue. It's coming onto Kickstarter soon, and the link will appear down below afterwards. Uh, afterwards? When it's live. So, Ox, if you like abstract games, if you want a portable two-player game that is fun, but also has a bit more strategy than you might think, considering it's dice-based, uh, about how to move your pieces and when to put new ones on and when to continue and break up those lines, then you can't go uh, far wrong with Ox. Thanks very much for watching Board Deck and Dice. We'll see you next time.